Dear friends, I am Dr. K. Kannan, Professor Mechanical Engineering, Anjalayamal Mahalingam Engineering College, Koyil Vinni. I am happy to meet you again in the video lecture in Solution and Discussion on Gate Question Paper in Mechanical Engineering. This is lecture number 54. The topic is Fluid Dynamics. In the earlier four lectures, we solved a few questions in the Fluid Dynamics. We continue with the Fluid Dynamics. This is question number, question from 2018 question paper. A tank open at the top with a water level 1 meter as shown in the figure has a hole at a height of 0.5 meter. A free jet leaves horizontally from the smooth hole. The distance x where the jet strikes the floor is, we have four options. So this is the tank. The head of water is 1 meter, it is kept constant, at a 0.5 meter there is a hole. So through the hole the water jet is leaving and it is taking on the ground here. We have to find the distance at which it is taking on the ground. That is the question. The answer is 1 meter. So we will see how in the next slide. So this is the arrangement once again. Velocity of the jet at the exit of the hole, u equal to square root of 2 gh. The x component of velocity at the exit of the hole, u equal to square root of 2 gh. So, x so the jet is leaving in the x direction and the y component of velocity in the vertical direction, it is 0 because the way, so here this is the position of the jet leaving, it is moving only in the x direction, velocity in the y direction is 0. Time taken for the jet to reach the ground, so this y equal to the distance y equal to 1 by 2 vt plus 1 by 2 gt square v equal to 0 v equal to 0 so 1 by 2 0 into t plus 1 by 2 gt square so t equal to 2 y divided by g square root square root of 2 y divided by g the time taken for the jet to reach the ground is square root of 2 y by g now the horizontal distance traveled by the jet at the same time x equal to u into t this is equal to square root of 2gh into square root of 2y by g. This is equal to 2 into square root of yh. So, substituting x equal to 2 into square root of y equal to 0 0.5, h equal to 0 0.5 equal to 1 meter. So, the answer x, the distance travelled by the jet is 1 meter. Next question from 2018 question paper. A sprinkler shown rotates about its hinge point in the horizontal plane due to water flow discharged through its through its two exit nozzle. So, this is the hinge. This is one exit nozzle. This is another exit nozzle. The exit nozzle one on the right side is 20 centimeter from the center and left side is 10 centimeter from the center. The discharge total discharge is shared 50 percent discharge on the right side, 50 percent discharge on the left side. The total flow flow rate Q through the sprinkler 1 liters per second and uh, the cross-sectional area of each exit nozzle is 1 cm square. Assuming equal flow rate through the both arms and the frictionless hinge, the steady state angular speed of rotation of the sprinkler is dash radians per second. So, what is the angular speed of the sprinkler? That is the question. So, this is 10 radians per second. So, the angular speed equal 10 radians per second. We will see how in the next slide. So, this is the sprinkler. There is no, there is no external torque there is no external torque acting on the sprinkler. The angular momentum is conserved. So, for conserving the angular momentum, rho q by 2 into r2 v2 minus r1 v1 equal to 0. So, this r1, r2 v2 minus r1 v1 equal to 0 for the uh, vertex flow. So, r2 v2 equal to r1 v1. So, substituting r2 into vr2 minus r2 omega this is equal to r1 v2 equal to vr2 minus r2 omega minus r1 into vr1 minus r1 omega. So, rearranging the terms r2 into vr2 equal to q by 2a minus r2 omega this is equal to r1 into q by 2a into r2 r1 omega. So, r2 into q by 2a r2 omega equal to r1 into q by 2a r1 omega plus r1 omega rearranging q by 2a into r2 minus r1 equal to omega into r1 square plus r2 square. So, omega angular speed equal to q by 2a into r2 minus r1 divided by r1 square plus r2 square. So, substituting q by 2a is q 
क्यू वन लीटर्स पर सेकेंड वन लीटर्स पर सेकेंड सो दिस इज टेन पॉवर माइनस थ्री मीटर क्यूब प्लस टू डिवाइड बाई टू इंटू वन इन टेन पॉवर फोर माइनस फोर एरिया इक्वल टू वन मिलीमीटर वन सेंटीमीटर स्क्वायर वन इन टेन पॉवर फोर आर टू इज जीरो पॉइंट टू माइनस जीरो पॉइंट वन डिवाइड बाई पॉइंट टू स्क्वायर प्लस जीरो पॉइंट वन स्क्वायर कैलकुलेटिंग ओमेगा इक्वल टू टेन रेडियंस पर सेकेंड द स्पीड एंगुलर स्पीड इक्वल टेन रेडियंस पर सेकेंड नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम टू थाउजेंड एटीन क्वेश्चन पेपर ए फ्रिक्शन लेस सर्कुलर पिस्टन ऑफ एरिया जीरो पॉइंट जीरो वन मीटर स्क्वायर एंड मास हंड्रेड किलोग्राम सिंक्स इन टू ए सिलेंड्रिकल कंटेनर ऑफ सेम एरिया ऑफ सेम ऑफ सेम एरिया फिल्ड विद वाटर ऑफ डेंसिटी थाउजेंड किलोग्राम पर मीटर क्यूब एस वन इन दिगर द कंटेनर हैज ए होल्ड ऑफ एरिया जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो वन मीटर स्क्वायर एट द बॉटम दैट इज ओपन टू द एटमोस्फियर assuming there is no leakage from the edges of the piston and considering water to be incompressible the magnitude of piston velocity at the instant is shown at this instant shown is dash meters per second so this is the piston here we have the water this is the small hole at the bottom g equal to 10 meters per second square so here atmospheric pressure is acting so the piston velocity we have to calculate velocity of the piston we have to calculate so this is 1.456 meters per second so we will see how in the next slide so this is the arrangement again so this is point 1 level 1 and level 2 area a1 this piston area equal to 0.01 meter square a2 area the area of the hole it is 0.001 meter square so velocity v1 and v2 using the continuity equation a1 v1 equal to a2 v2 so v2 equal to a1 v1 divided by a2 0.01 divided by 0.001 into v1 equal to 10 v1 meters per second v2 equal to 10 v1 meters per second the pressure p1 equal to mg by a1 so mg the mass of the piston into g acceleration due to gravity divided by the area so 100 into 10 divided by 0.01 equal to 10 power 5 pascal using the bernoulli equation p1 by W specific weight plus V1 square by 2g plus Z2 equal to P2 by W plus V2 square by 2g plus Z2. So P1 equal to 10 power 5 divided by W 10 power 4. So the rho into g g equal to 10 rho equal to 1000. So 10 power 4 plus V1 square by 2 into 10 plus 0.5 point five Z2 equal to 0.5 point five plus P2 equal to zero because it is atmospheric pressure. P2 equal to zero. V2 square equal to 10 times of V1. 10 V1 whole square divided by 2 into 10 plus Z2 equal to zero. Data. This is the datum point. Now simplifying 10 plus V1 square by 2. V1 square by 20 plus 0.5 equal to 100 V1 square divided by 20. Rearranging and calculating V1 equal to 1.456 meters per second. That is the answer to the question. The next question from 2018 question paper. Air flows at a rate of 1.5 meter cube per second through a horizontal pipe, with a gradually reducing cross section as shown in the figure. The two cross section area cross section of diameter 400 millimeter and 200 millimeter. Take the air density 1.2 kilogram per meter cube and assume inviscid incompressible flow. The change in pressure P2 minus P1 between the point 1 and 2 is. We have four options here. The answer, correct option is minus 1.28 kilopascal. The difference in pressure P2 minus P1 equal to 1. minus 1.28 kilopascal. So we will see how in the next slide. So this is the arrangement. So this is the pipeline, and the, uh, the, there is a reduction in the size. This is diameter 400 millimeter, and here the diameter is 200 millimeter. This is section one, and this is section two. The air is flowing with a velocity 1.5 meter cube per second. So calculating velocity v1 equal to q by area. Q is discharge 1.5 meter cube 1.5 divided by pi by 4 d1 square. So 1.5 divided by pi by 4 0.4 square equal to 1.94 meters per second. V2 equal to q by pi by 4 d2 square. So 1.5 divided by pi by 4 0.2 square equal to 47.77 meters per second. Now using the Bernoulli equation, p1 by rho g plus v1 square by 2g plus z2 equal to p2 by rho g plus v2 square by 2g plus z2. So P1 minus P2 by rho g rearranging the term is that one equal to is that two horizontal section is that one equal to is that two that is getting cancelled. So P1 minus P2 by rho g equal to V2 square minus V1 square by 2g. So g is getting cancelled. So P1 minus P2 equal to rho into V2 square minus V1 square by 2. So P1 minus P2 equal to substituting 1.2 into 11.94 square minus 
47.77 square divided by 2. So, P1 minus P2 equal to minus 1.28 kilo Pascal. So, the pressure difference equal to 1 point, minus 1 1.28 kilo Pascal that is the answer to the question. Next question from 2019 question paper. During a storm, the wind speed is 90 kilometers per hour. In a high rise building, there is a window of size 1.2 meter by 1.8 meter facing the storm on the upper floor. Neglecting the ground effect on, on the wind speed and considering the density of the air is air as 1.2 kilogram per meter cube, the force acting on the window due to the storm is dash Newton. So, we calculate force acting on the window equal to F equal to PO minus P infinity into area. So, this equal to 1 by 2 rho V square into A. So, this PO minus P infinity equal to 1 by 2 rho V square into A. So, 1 by 2 into 1.2 into 90 into 1000 divided by 3600. 90 kilometers per hour, 90 into 1000 divided by 3600 whole square into 1.2 into 1.8. Calculating the force equal to 810 Newton. So, the answer is 810 Newton. We stop here. So, these are all the books I have written in mechanical engineering subject and you may find the fluid mechanics in machinery book. You refer to the book for the, you can find out, you can read the theory part of fluid dynamics. I upload the video lectures of all the subjects in the YouTube channel. You subscribe the channel, use the videos for better learning. Thank you for watching. Please post your comments. You can contact me for any clarification on the subject. We will meet again in another video lecture for the solution of questions, gate questions in the fluid, fluid dynamics. Until then, bye.